loves today as you can see by my title i am back to share with you all a mac haul this is the mac and ellie golding collaboration collection and i do apologize if you've been waiting for the video today is actually wednesday december 16th and hopefully it will go up today hopefully fingers crossed my memory card gave out and i was just so annoyed i I tried to edit, I was getting ready to edit finally. No, I shouldn't wait till the last minute to edit, but that's just the way it is. And so I plugged it in and it said, you know, it just gave me a lot of problems and I had to restore it. So long story short, I lost all the footage of the video and the pictures and all that. So I do really want to apologize if you've been waiting for the video. On the bright side, this isn't a really, really big collection. But again, I did want to get this up for you all if you were debating between certain things. Anyway, so if you are interested in seeing my Mac and Ellie Golding collaboration collection haul, then keep on watching. So it is morning, as you can see, and if my voice is like weird, it's because it's morning. And I quickly rushed on to get some makeup before work because I have to go to work in like half an hour. So hopefully this all works out. Anyways, so first thing I want to show you all is something that I picked up. What was it, Monday I got? My co-workers are telling me how they, they really liked it. Anyways, this is the 217 brush. If you don't have the 217 brush, then I would definitely get it. Actually, it does look different. So this is something that I didn't have in the original video, so I guess this works out. As you can see, this one, I don't know, it just, it looks a little bigger, right? Let me see. The actual brush, this one lengthwise, so this one is the original, I guess you can say, 217. This one looks a little bit taller, but brush size, the Ellie Golding one looks a little bit bigger. And the handles is glossy, and sorry about that. This is kind of like a rose gold, kind of gold looking kind of handle right there. So... It is what it is. I did want to pick this up. It cost $22. So if you've been wanting to get the 217, definitely go pick this up. This is a staple in like everyone in their mom's kit. So definitely check that out. First things first, this is a re-promote. This is Pink Rebel. I think Pink Rebel first came out with the Riri collection, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a liquid highlighter, I guess you can say. You can definitely mix this with your foundation as well. So it's just... It's honestly just a pink. Can you see that? I'm not sure how well the lighting is here. Please let me know what you think about the new lighting, the new kind of setup here. I'm still playing around with it. Again, I didn't expect to have to re-record this video, but it is what it is, right? Roll with the punches. Anywho, let's move on. Let's do lips since I haven't put on a lipstick. So this is what the packaging looks like, just in case you're curious. This is what the Pat and Polish lip pencil looks like. Really nice. This one is called Innocent. I don't think this is going to show up on me. I think this is, yeah, it's just going to show up as kind of like a gloss. Thank you. I'm thinking of moving this a little bit back so I'm closer to the window. We'll see. Let me know what y'all think. Yeah, this one's definitely more of a pink. This one's really cute. It shows up on my skin tone. Moving on to the plush gloss. This is called Goodness Gracious. It's a very nice pink coral. We'll see how pigmented it is. Nice. It's just, honestly, it's just your standard pink, nothing too crazy. Second plush glass is called Explosion. And this one really reminds me of the Mariah Carey lipstick, the Frost. This, yeah, this could, this is it in, in lip gloss form. This is it. I kid you not. It looks exactly like it. I'm not too sure how many people would rock just the lipstick by itself, the Mariah Carey lipstick. But anyways, this lipstick is called Without Your Love, and this one is a cream sheen finish. It's a very nice pink color. This one is just very, very light. It's a very light pink. So if you're into pinks, this is definitely a collection for you. The second lipstick is called Only You, and this is also a cream sheen finish. Darker pink than the first one. Yeah, but it's still very I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one on. This lighting is just not working with me today. It does give you a little bit of color, so I'm not sure what the look everyone's going for. 
but that's that finally let's get on with the powder blush so again this is the box and it comes with a mirror I just don't want to blind you and this is called I'll hold my breath this reminds me straight up of Riri the hibiscus kiss which I actually do have I think So, Riri's is definitely a, I don't want to say a cooler, but it's just, they're not the same. I thought they were the same, but they are not. See them now? Yeah, they're not the same. Unfortunately or fortunately. Look at this compact though. Okay. Let's try this out. So, it's it's definitely not. That pigmented the blush is pigmented so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this does not show up on me unfortunately I mean if you really pack it on I'm sure it'll show up but this one right now is just not not working for me moving on to the last two items that I got this one is called Helicon lights and this is the full face kit yeah, this is Oh my gosh, this lighting is just, I'm not sure how, what it's, this is like a test run video, so please, please bear with me. So this is This Love, the cream color base, and these are the eyeshadows. Very pretty, neutral shadows. I, I really like them, that is what I'm, what I'm wearing today. Halcon Days, this one comes with four cream colored bases and a blot powder, which I think is pretty neat because, well... I just I wish maybe they put the eyeshadows with the blot powder and the cream colored bases together but anyways it looks it's pretty neat. I did use one of the cream colored bases for a base under my eye. Honestly, now that I'm refilming this video, there wasn't anything, I'm going to be really honest with you all, there wasn't anything that I have used. I really like the eyeshadow, but you all know I have like hundreds upon hundreds of shadows, so I probably didn't need it. But is there anything that I'm particularly like screaming over? Not really. I just, I'm going to be honest, I really liked if I can find the brush. If there was anything that I definitely recommend, it just... Again, I say this a million times. It depends on your preference. If you're a collector, really gorgeous packaging, love it. But if you're using it, if you're going to be using it for makeup, not so sure. It just depends on your skin tone as well. I'm sure all of these would look really, really flattering on a gal that's definitely lighter skin than me. But of course, Ellie Goulding is definitely lighter skin than me. So just keep that in mind. Let me know if you ended up picking up anything from this collection. And again, let me know what you all think of the lighting. Should I move back? I think I'm going to move back just so, you know, the lighting could come in. We'll see. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up for me so I can continue doing my MAC hauls. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all next time. Bye loves.